Hey, hi, this is Manjuna Chandraya. Today I'll be learning how to find the total sales based on a date range. So I have a small data with the city, date, sales quantity and sales amount. For these two cities, we need to find the total sales quantity and the amount based on these two range, date range. So start date and the end date. Based on this range, we need to find the sales quantity and the sales amount. For that, what we can do, you can use a sum ifs function. Type it as sum ifs, open bracket. Click on this fx function. So here you can see it says insert arguments. So here says sum range. So we are trying to sum the the quantity first here. So that's in C column. So I'm going to select this. Use F4 function to log the cell. Criteria range. First criteria city. So range it says range means we need to select the entire column or the set of uh, range. So I'm going to select the entire column here for city. Use F4 function to log the cell. Under this city we are finding we try to find the New York. So I'm going to select the New York here. Next case criteria range that is start date. So range it says range. So I'm going to select the B column which has the date. Use F4 function to log the cell. Under the criteria, we go to select the start date. Before selecting the start date, what we need to see that you need to put a double quote greater than or equal to. Okay, close the double quote and select the cell. Anything greater than or equal to January 1st that should be picked. So automatically now it's picking the 50 as the quantity. Let's go next step. So when you do a tab, again criteria range 3, we need to find the end date. So it says range, I'm going to select the, again the B column, use F4 function to the log the cell. Criteria 3 is nothing but the end date. So again you start with the double quote, less than, equal to, close the double quote and select the end date. So we need to be between these two dates. So less than or equal to this date should count. So now it shows a 50 now. Just click OK, drag the quantity down. So now it's 50 and 35. Let's check for New York. So New York, if you select, so it, the date is January 1st to January 15th. So that's the range we are looking. The quantity is 50 here. So let's look for the Dallas. Dallas, I think if you see, it is 22. And one is for January 18th. So January 18th is 35. So if you select all, so here you can say 15 to 18th. So it shows so that's the reason it shows as 35. It is not taking the other part which is which the date is on 22nd January. Okay. Once you're done with this, now we need to find the sales quantity. What you can do, just double click on this formula. From here you can copy the entire formula, copy, escape, do double co double if you do double entry here or you do F2. Once you do, and you can paste it here or you can paste it here. Formula. So now you see it is taking the same quantity, but we need the sales amount. Sales amount is under D column. So keep the cursor in the column. Do FX function again. So as you can see, it says sum range. It is taking the C column that is the quantity. So we need the D column. Just delete this and select the D column. Use F4 function to log the cell. Now you can see the amount here. Click OK and copy down. So now we got the so let's check the uh, sales value. So, so let me select New York. Date is January 2, 15th. So we have so 5,500 that is picking here. Now we will select the Dallas. So Dallas 22, we are now looking for the 22 quantity, the only for 18th, that is 3,500. So if you select, uh, clear the uh, filters, now you can see 3,500. That is the range between these two. If we change the range to 22nd, now the quantity changes as well as the sales amount. I hope uh, this session was helpful. Do let me know for any other function so that I can create a video on it. And do comment uh, for any new function so that I can prepare the video for in future. And thank you for your time. Happy learning.